Hey everybody, welcome back to Business on the Blockchain, the series where we cover existing businesses trying to jump into the blockchain space. I'm Jeremy from Blockchain WTF, and today we're going to be covering how Major League Baseball is getting in on the blockchain craze. The quick pitch. If you can't tell, I love baseball. My childhood was spent watching my favorite baseball players, and as a young player, I wanted to be those superstars. But like all kids, I had to settle for the next best thing, Little League and card collecting. Well, thanks to Major League Baseball, developers at Lucid, and the Ethereum blockchain, we might be advancing into the next generation of baseball collectibles. Now, when you hear about baseball collectibles, baseball cards are probably the first thing that comes to mind. And baseball's had quite a history. Baseball cards were there the whole way. From the practically priceless Honus Wagner to cards of today's superstars, baseball cards are ingrained into the history of baseball. And they used to be everywhere. You used to get them in packages of gum and cigarettes. They contributed significantly to the game by giving consumers another way to live baseball. But an interesting thing has happened over the past couple of decades. Card collecting has declined. Now this is likely due to various reasons, but one of the main ones has been a transition from a physical world to a digital one. There have been a few experiments to add digital aspects to card collecting, but baseball has yet to adapt to collectibles in the purely digital world. Major League Baseball announced that they're pairing up with Lucid to use the Ethereum network to put player collectibles on the blockchain. Now the collectibles will be in the form of ERC721 tokens, which are non-fungible and completely unique. So your version of the collectible can be identified as yours, providing you with true ownership of the digital asset. Now the nice thing about physically collecting baseball cards is that you have a proof of ownership. You have it, it's your card. With digital assets, it's a lot less clear who has ownership, but with the introduction of a blockchain, that might soon change. Baseball has come under recent criticism based off a perceived reduction in popularity. Ticket sales are solid, but recent surveys suggest that the average fan of Major League Baseball is around 45 years old. And that's not a number you want to see if you're Major League Baseball. Young viewership is down, with many young people stating that baseball is slow moving and boring. Even as a fan of the game, I think there's way too much downtime when nothing is happening. I get that criticism. I was watching a game yesterday and I counted the seconds in between pitches, and it was about 15, 16. And I thought to myself, I watch a lot of baseball, this game is actually pretty fast moving. So I get that criticism. And so there's Major League Baseball. They're exploring ways to speed up the game and reach younger fans, and these collectibles might be a great way to introduce baseball to a younger, more tech-savvy audience. Baseball's been around for about a century and a half, and they've had to constantly adapt. And they haven't always been the most proactive. The last stadium to get lights for night games was Wrigley Field in 1988. So it's exciting to see an institution that has resisted change so much in order to maintain the purity of the game be so proactive towards a new technology. Interestingly enough, this isn't Major League Baseball's entrance into the blockchain space. They've previously explored accepting payments for ticket purchases and other services they provide in cryptocurrency, but ultimately decided against it, citing that accepting the speculative asset wouldn't do much to further their primary goal of making ticket sales more accessible. However, I wouldn't be surprised to see that change in the next couple of years, especially with introducing a project like this. Collecting cards is fun for a lot of young fans, I think that popularity will transfer over to digital collectibles. We've seen it with CryptoKitties, but that was a new project. It'll be exciting to see an existing organization adapt to the blockchain by putting ERC721 tokens onto the blockchain as collectibles. And that's all we have for you on Major League Baseball's slide into the blockchain space. If you think we had a home run in this video, give us a like, subscribe, and also hit that bell so you get notified of all our future videos. Any questions about blockchains and cryptocurrencies, head over to blockchain.wtef. If we haven't covered it, let us know and we will. Thanks for watching this edition of Business on the Blockchain. I'm Jeremy with Blockchain WTF, and I'll see you next time.